So this is a technique that I like to use a lot to create heavily distorted signature sounds for trailer sound effects, but you can also use it for bass sounds or sound effects in general. It just heavily relies on using quite a bit of distortion. So I'm gonna start with the default preset in Whitel here by creating a very standard stacked sound. So on the first oscillator I'm just gonna use the sine wave and then I'm gonna activate the other two oscillators and the waveforms don't matter that much, but I'm just gonna use one of these oscillators and pitch it up one octave and give it a few voices and a bit of detune. And now as I mentioned before, this is all about using distortion. So we're gonna activate the distortion here as well as the compressor and just boost this all the way up for now. And I'm also gonna use a filter afterwards just to cut some of the highs because I don't really like a lot of the nasty high end here. And so the basic idea can quite easily be demonstrated. I'm gonna deactivate these two oscillators for now. And if we pitch the sine wave down quite a bit, then we get this kind of pulsing sound. Depending on your monitoring situation, you probably can even hear it. But as we increase the pitch, of course, the wave cycles faster, so we get this faster pulse. And now, because we are pushing all of this into distortion and compression, this pulse is going to modulate the entire sound. So we can also demonstrate this with just this oscillator here. So I'm going to play it with and without the sine wave, and then you can easily hear the effect. Especially also if we change the pitch. So and this is the main idea that we're going to use the sine wave at a rather low pitch, especially a lower pitch compared to the other two oscillators, and push all of this into distortion and compression, and then we kind of get very interesting results. So I'm just going to activate this oscillator here again. And to play around with this a bit more, I like to use a micro knob and just map this to the global voice transpose, and so you can easily find sort of the sweet spots. Uh, let's just start with two octaves. <laughs> So you already get this very interesting sound here. Now the idea also is that you could of course add more distortion after this. So what I've found works quite well for this is using guitar distortion. Enable, I'm just gonna use the amp, set this to dual, and then just the heavy preset works really well for this. Now of course we can also just increase the amount here. And now it's also interesting to play around with the pitch of these other oscillators. So if you add a really high pitched one, you can just play around with the pitch of all these oscillators. I'm also playing a rather low note here. It's also worth to play around with this. And you can also change the sine wave to a different waveform. Different waveforms are gonna essentially create different pulsing sounds at this low pitch. You can also try incorporating this filter a bit more. What I like to do is to use the same micro knob here and just set this to the cutoff and then just invert it. So as we increase the pitch, we are cutting the highs a bit more. And then of course you can just add more distortion if you want to, something like a saturator here. I just use very extreme settings and then you can always dial them back. And it's also worth to play around with MIDI pitch bands, also use different notes and have them glide into each other, and then modulate the micro knob at the same time and this way you can get very interesting results. 